government is ensuring that the health needs of its citizenry are addressed across the country through the smooth implementation of the Seventh National Development Plans. In this regard, steady measures such as training more health personnel and construction of district hospitals and health posts, among others, have been put in place. To supplement on the human resource, 124 students have graduated from Lewanika and Senanga schools of nursing, where Lewanika has produced the first ever state registered nurses and midwifery, and Senanga its first ever graduate nurses. Excellency President Edgar Chagolungu is very proud that you have graduated from the school that he had opened in April 2016, and he sends his congratulatory messages. We want to facilitate the transition from secondary education to college education. We want to empower our youths. We want to ensure we build a human capital that will address our health needs. We want to address the deficit in the health sector so we will not allow barriers. Furthermore, the General Nursing Council, I use this platform to direct you to ensure that you smoothen the recruitment process for nurses in the schools. Of I want to direct all nursing schools, including Selanga Nursing School, that don't have midwifery programs, to commence midwifery programs in July this year. A graduate, Matthews Kandenga, gave a vote of thanks. You are championing the universal health coverage that has, that has seen a number of nursing schools open in the province without which a person like me was not going to be trained as a nurse. We are equally grateful for your directive to reduce fees in nurse training schools. This will see a lot of young people access training without limitations to funds. Later in the day, the health minister, Dr. Chitalu Chilufya, also officiated at International Nurses Day celebration, which was held at Senanga Safaris in Senanga District. The health minister also directed an immediate promotion of the two nurses, Eric Kansele and Lazarus Banda from Mambo Districts, for their bravery to ferry a pregnant woman across the stream to a bigger hospital for delivery. Salome Pri reporting for Zanis in Senanga, Western Province.